Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey and this is the, the first official uh, tutorial video for, video for getting started with Honeybee Energy Simulation. Um, and, uh, and in this one we're just going to go over the basics of, uh, of how to install uh, the, the things that we need in order to get the energy simulations to run on, on your computer. And we'll, we'll be opening Rhino and Grasshopper for the first time. Um, so the first thing that you guys need, if this is the first time that, that you're energy modeling with Honeybee, is that you're going to need this program called Energy Plus, which you may have seen mentioned in the previous video. Um, and so, and this is, this is essentially a Department of Energy tool, so I, I'm just going to open my browser and start navigating to, uh, to, to download this. But it's a, it's a Department of Energy, U.S. Department of Energy tool um, that, is, that is open source. Uh, and if you just search for Ener... Uh, G plus you can actually do it all one word because that's usually how it's it's written um, and it, this is this is essentially the engine that runs in the the energy simulation of your building for you uh, and you can see it's usually it's going to be the first thing that shows up there building technologies office energy plus um, and um, and this this engine is what sits under the hood and essentially it's it's uh, is is what will take and process all the inputs that you have and figure out run running the energy simulation for you. Um, so when you guys get to this web page, you just have to hit download Energy Plus. Um, it's relatively straightforward. You have to put in an email address and uh, I guess I'm well. I guess you guys already know my email address because uh, uh, of generally of um, of. Uh, uh, I mean, you'll see it all over the Grasshopper page, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I'm going to put in my email address there, and then uh, let's see. I'm just actually I'm going to pause this for a second so you don't see my password. But you may have to create an account, and if you have, have to create an account, um, you know you can just click on this and do that. Uh, if this is the first time you're on the site, but I'm just going to give me a second. I'm just going to type my password. Okay, and once once you've created an account and signed in, you'll get to a page that looks like this. And what you want is, uh, you know, you just want the Windows version, the most recent one, which is which is 8.1 that you see here. I mean, you can see there's a license agreement, uh, which you know basically says it's it's open and free and awesome stuff, uh, and just accept that. And then you can download Energy Plus, and uh, and you know, and, and that'll start start the downloading of an EXE that will essentially will will install Energy Plus for you. Uh, and let's see. I mean, it looks like this might take two minutes on my connection speed right here. So I'm gonna fast forward for you guys. But but you know, you know, all right. Just just yeah, I'll fast forward and, and see you once it finishes downloading. Okay, everyone. So Energy Plus finished downloading. It may may take a while on your machine because it's uh, it's a fairly large uh, large engine uh, to uh, to some extent. And yeah, and so I'm just gonna install it now. Just click on it and open run running the exe right now. Um, and you know, you'll just say if you know. That that you you'll you'll you know you'll give security to it. It's it's a perfectly fine program, I promise. Um, and you know you'll just go through the steps. You'll agree to a license agreement, and this is important. So this is I would just accept the default folder for Energy Plus uh, right off the C drive because it's very important that that wherever you put this that it doesn't have any spaces in the file path name. So I would really recommend taking the default uh, uh, destination folder there, um, and just I'm just going to click next. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm I'm not particularly worried about. I guess yeah. I'll just it'll give me a shortcut, so that's fine enough. Um, all right, and now it's it's going to install. It's going to unpack everything that we just downloaded. Um, so I think this this is also going to take a bit of time. So um, so I'm also I'm going to fast forward again then. Okay, everyone, and after a minute or two, you should you should Energy Plus should finish installing, and uh, and you'll see you know uh, um, uh, you know thing that'll just tell you that it's finished, and I guess don't don't necessarily worry about seeing any, those check boxes now. Just hit finish, um, and if if it installed correctly on your machine, you should see. I mean, if you go to uh, go to your C drive, like right off your computer. You go to your C drive and, and took that default. You should see an Energy Plus version 8.1 there uh, folder, and this is this is the folder that has all the parts of the engine that that we're going to run from Honeybee uh, in this in this series. Um, so all right, so you guys have the Energy Plus engine. Now let's let's take care of everything on the the Rhino Grasshopper side. So if you guys can open a Rhino window, I, I've I've already got one open here uh, because it's a file that we're going to be using throughout this series. Um, um, which is which is actually well, I'll give you the backstory in a second. And don't worry, you don't don't you don't need the geometry in your Rhino file right now. I've included the geometry in the Grasshopper example file that uh, that you guys can download attached to this video. Um, and so so guys, just yeah. So but just open a blank Rhino window and then uh, and then open Grasshopper as uh, you know as as you'd expect. 
Um, and uh, and actually, all right, while this is loading up, maybe I can give you some backstory. So this this 3D model that we're going to be working with is actually uh, the the wonderful house of, of my other than my 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 great and dear parents. Um, and yeah, and so I, I figured that you guys would really appreciate seeing some type of real project with this. I mean, we could have done something simpler for speed, but I think I think this is this is going to be a I don't know, it'll be a pretty good treat for you guys. But um, but all right, so we've got you've got the the grasshopper window open, and I would just suggest that you guys open the the example file that's that's you know in the description of this video um, in order to get the geometry. Um, but uh, um, so so you guys are gonna do that now, um, and you know, and with that you'll kind of get a sense. You'll get the the ladybug and the honeybee and everything copied to your to your. Uh, uh, to your memory, but I think is if you're just starting out, I want to say this emphasize anytime you start out making a honeybee energy model, before you, you jump right into honeybee, you should drag and drop ladybug ladybug onto the canvas. And I know I know that seems kind of counterintuitive because you might say, Chris, we're working with honeybee. Why do we need ladybug? And the thing is a lot of the honeybee components still call on a lot of functions in ladybug. So you should first drop that the, drop the ladybug ladybug onto the canvas and then you can drop the honeybee honeybee and that'll copy all the extra classes that you need in order to run the advanced energy simulation stuff that we're going to be doing in this in this series um, and you'll notice I mean the honeybee will, will take a while to copy and also I should say it, it's pretty important uh, because the the first time that you drop honeybee honeybee onto your canvas if you've never dropped honeybee onto your canvas before you should you should make sure that you're connected to the internet um, because the first time you drag and drop that onto your canvas, it, it's going to download actually a whole set of libraries and stuff that we're going to be using. Um, you know, it auto download, downloads it when you drag and drop it onto the canvas. Um, so make sure, yeah, it would really make sure you have an internet connection. Um, I guess you probably must have one if you're watching this video while, while doing this. But yeah, but, but make sure you do that anytime you're, you're the first time you're dropping honeybee on the canvas. And um, and all right, guys, and that's that's actually so now you know you you should have already had Ladybug and Honeybee installed, and if you need to know how to install those, well, you should you all, you should already actually probably work with Ladybug, I would say before before jumping into Honeybee. But you know, but that there's a whole intro series on working with Ladybug, um, you know, that'll show you how to do do that and everything. So all right, so we're ready, we're all installed, we're ready to start getting our hands dirty into this stuff. Um, and um, and in the next video, we're gonna start taking these these geometries of. Uh, of, uh, of my parents' house here, and we're going to we're going to turn it into some some zones with some some energy simulation properties. All right, everyone. Then I'll see you in the next video, and I'm looking forward to it.